Okay, we're going to start the meeting. Look at that. I can't believe it. Isn't that something? So if I could have uh, James start us off here. Thank you, Mr. President. Chris Dallow, for joining me in the Pledge of Allegiance. The flag's right here. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. And now we're going to uh, talk about the four-way test. Remember, we're emphasizing the bolded 
words here. So the four-way test of the things we think, say, or do. First, is it the, the truth? truth? Second, is it the truth? Second, is it the truth? Third, will be good and better precious. Fourth, will be beneficial to all concerned. Excellent. Fifth, will be good and better Yes, sir. Mr. President. Awesome. Thank you very much. All right. You guys may be seated. <clears throat> so, Gary, do you have an inspirational comment? Yeah, I tried to find something for leadership. <laughs> so, You're still looking. Good. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll, so, I'll, I'll, whenever you take over, let me know. Okay. We all want progress, but if you're on the wrong road, progress means doing an about turn and walking back to the right road. In that case, the person who turns back soonest is the most progressive. Good, I'm turning back now. <laughs> I go down the middle. No gutter balls and That's right. Well, good. So I see we have a couple of guests out there, some from far away, and I think Gary has an intro on those guys. So. I do. Yeah. Billy Howell is from Bloomington Normal Sunrise Club. And she says normal is a community, right? Bloomington Normal. Where? Illinois. Thank Illinois. you. Illinois. I knew that. I knew that, but I'm not sure they all knew that. Right. I didn't know that. Well, welcome. Well, welcome. Well, welcome. Well, welcome. Well, welcome. Well, welcome. Because I Googled the best club in Washington. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. Oh, 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 you better be careful because this club might recruit you to just stay here. I mean, I've stayed here. It's triggered in Illinois. So. Yeah. <laughs> and then I have Louis Locke, who's uh, our friend from uh, Longview. Yeah. I almost said like Stevens, but they're here plenty of times, so they could be late. Awesome. That's it. Thank you very much for being here today. That's awesome. I can't believe it. Did you fly here? And why'd I actually you come? Drove here. Oh, you did? Wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. <clears throat> Not stopped. So, um, <clears throat> so anniversaries. We had some uh, an anniversary. Lance Morehouse and Carrie Morehouse, June twenty sixth. Doesn't say how many years. And then twelve or thirteen. Twelve or thirteen. Okay, that's good. And then we have a uh, date joined. We have <clears throat> one of the founding members. Joyce Bell, June 28th, and was 31 years. I think you in, in, invented. <laughs> <clears throat> so that's awesome, Joyce. Thanks for being here today. Yeah. yeah. And then, so now we have our reports. So we have Treasurer's Report, I guess, Laurie. What? Yeah. Oh. Treasurer's <laughs> Report. I know, Jack. Where are you, Jack? Jack, oh, Jack. Come on, yeah. Don't know who your treasure is. <laughs> I know. That's a fine. <laughs> That's a fine place to be, Ollie. <clears throat> so, treasurer's report or uh, secretary's report. On a little bit of a sad note, I'll uh, announce that uh, Sean Hogan, who was our district governor uh, a few times ago, his wife passed away June 28th. Uh, I know from watching uh, on Facebook that they have been in Europe with a, a, another couple and they got home and she went into the doctor on like June the 14th and diagnosed with a uh, very ag aggressive cancer that she did not know that she had. And so, so aggressive and moving so quickly that she decided that she did not want to seek treatment. So she died on June 28th. If you haven't met Sean Hogan, um, if you think I'm Irish, you <laughs> Sean. He's one of the nicest guys. He was a great district governor. And so it's uh, kind of sad that uh, he lost his wife. He's uh, trying to deal with it. And they're going to have uh, a memorial on Sunday, July 10th. And it just so happens that the new R.I. president is going to be in the area, and so she's going to come to the memorial. And then they're going to do, uh, Carol's ashes are going to be um, strewn around on July 11th. So um, he's not looking for cards or anything like that, but I just wanted to bring that up. He's a good friend. 
Uh, next voter board meeting is Thursday, July 21st. The next meeting of Rotarians in Action is on July 5th at John's house. Um, what? What? That, oh, that's it. That's it. Right, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> There's always a challenge from the, from the left. You notice that? Right? Yeah. <laughs> Washington. She's a member of our club. She's a member of our club. She keeps up with that. We also have a mayor. And, if you, and we've never seen his, his mom. She will be out fairly soon, probably uh, with signs for your election. Right? She's going to wear the hat, though. She always, yeah. always wears the hat. Oh, that's sad. Yeah. Don't yak about mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, just the chamber has got a whole lot of activities down at the uh, Lundy Inn North Cove on July the 4th uh, at the Cornhole Tournament uh, that we're one of the sponsors. Uh, they're always looking for volunteers to come down to work, so everybody do that and help. Upcoming district 50-50 uh, events, July 17th is the district governor's installation and club awards. August 26th is golf tournament, and we have at least one team already signed up. So that's it. Okay, thanks. I, I would like to give you one of our little banners here to take back to the floor. I would like that would be awesome, right? If you don't look for us. I did, this is sort of impromptu, but I can nail it. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> awesome, yeah. Just bring it back next week. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah right back and back and forth, right? <coughs> this is the it, first club I've ever visited outside of my country. Awesome, cool. It'll be tough to visit others now. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our new from our Jennifer Jones, who's the president of the whole thing here, and it's Imagine Rot Rotary. So that's kind of the new new symbol here. It has all the uh, disciplines you might say on there. Those little dots is what that is, and there's the rotary wheel. And so that's as big as it's going to get. On my understanding, we don't get a big one. I don't know why that is, but they said they're saving money, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so anyhow, so with that, do we have a president-elect report? We do. Good. In addition to everything going on at Lundy Park and elsewhere, we have a lot coming up for Aquafest. So... Um, the uh, sign-up list uh, for all the various tasks involved is now active, and it's on our home page. And if you go to upcoming events, then you go to, down to Aquafest, and you click on that, you'll see an online registration with a little box, you click on that, takes you right to the list. So we've got all kinds of activities, and this is probably our biggest uh, We'll call it user of our time. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there's, we, we've got just a lot of things going on. So I, I, I'm real hopeful that the whole club can find a couple tasks. And one thing to keep in mind is there are, uh, there are tasks scheduled out throughout the day. So it's pretty easy to sign up for this one and this one and this one. And you might only be there for one day and get like three different uh, Things signed up for, so you get there's a lot of bang for your time, is what I'm getting at. So anyhow, just uh, to go over real quick, as far as what we do there, we have the corn booth. Um, that's the uh, probably the biggest one, and it's all three days: Friday afternoon, Saturday, and Sunday. So there's lots of little time slots that you can sign up to participate in that. Um, oh, and uh, before that, we we do have the booth set up, which is. <laughs> Friday morning, I believe. Yep. yep. And then you, know, you can sign up for the setup and the takedown, so it would be Friday morning and Sunday later afternoon. Will we do do the meeting that morning with Plesio? Yes, that's right. Yeah, I think that. Uh, yeah. And it's an informal meeting. Now, uh, we're not expected to be there, but we just have that for people that want to get together. And then the setup's right there. <clears throat> yeah, it's a very good point. You're, you're right. 
you know, near the reaction because we have a lot of stuff we're starting to make. So um, uh, another big one is this is our probably our best opportunity to sell coin quest tickets. So uh, a lot of slots available. We try to have people that are both at the booth and walking around the event. Uh, so, and those are broken up into short intervals that you can sign up for one or two of those, you know, that type of thing. Uh, I think Douglas is here. Yeah, I yeah, think they plan. shaking his head up above. Yeah, all right. Good. Saturday and Sunday. Great. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stand over here. How's that? <laughs> okay, yeah. Good to see you. But um, uh, okay, so we got the corn crafts, we got the fans of the corn booth. Uh, okay, and then they have two parades um, the street parade, which uh, occurs in the early afternoon. Yep. On Saturday. On Saturday. And we'll have um, uh, probably a couple cars in the street parade um, with our rotary or charity of the and citizen of the year, I'm hoping. And then we also have a Viking biking ship in the parade, Marcus's boats, and um, you know, so that'll that'll be uh, you know a big part of it. Should be a lot of fun. And to that point, we also have the decorating committee for the Viking ship, and um, the uh, the setup for that is going to be Friday after our Friday evening at Marcus's house. Is Friday. Evening. Is actually very close to downtown, so there's signups for that. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff from previous years that we can we use for that. We, we need oars from the rowing club, um, or rowing clubs. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Um, and then, uh, so the street parade is on the 30th, um, in the like I said, the mid afternoon, and then we have the boat parade. The same vessel will then be in the water for the boat parade, which is later in that same afternoon, Saturday afternoon. Um, so, and then of course we'll need a crew probably Saturday evening to take all the decorations off the boat so that Marcus can have his boat night. And so, what's the proper dress for the boat crew? Well, it's always been, well, I should say always, but uh, since I've been here, it's been Vikings. Yeah. And um, so if you sign up to be on the boat crew, uh, maybe plan to be in some kind of Viking garb would kind of be the answer there. And think about heat if it's a really hot day. I made the mistake of taking something that works really good in the wintertime <laughs> uh, out on the lake uh, in the hot sun. And I was really wishing the fireboat would, would attack. <laughs> and, and unfortunately, Ron, it didn't happen. <laughs> They're fired. They're shooting everybody else, but they weren't shooting so much at us. So, anyhow, um, that's it. So, do awesome. we work the pancakes? Do you say there's the. No. Well, we just want to have uh, we want to have people kind of there for the coin quest tickets. So, we just have a great place to sell tickets. Uh, They're all lined up, so you just. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's exactly it. You're working the line. Selling, selling Actually, that's some of the best uh, sales that we have done in previous years. Jim, so. if it doesn't disappoint, I'll do the better. We can go to the pancake basket. All right. Nice. So, Just uh, wash the heat, okay? Yeah. I'll be careful. <laughs> the tickets being printed right now, too. Okay. We'll have some people. Yeah. So, really, I'm edging three edge 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 black and white. Okay, raise your hand. <laughs> You're losing control. <laughs> I just want to ask a question. Uh, food handlers permit for corn booth? Uh, yeah, I, that or? I think we need at least one person in the booth, I believe, has to have that, but we need to yeah, kind of. Rashal is, is heading up that, and she's already been through that course. Yeah, good, good point. Not expiring from the 24th. I was going to say, I had. Uh, I know I had to get one of the awards. Yeah. So. Yeah, one time we all had to have them here in the booth, but I think it's just one now, I think. She'll, she'll find out. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, she seemed like she was already gotten out of it. She already got this purpose. Yeah. You know, Any other questions? Awesome. Great. Other than how much fun it is? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It is. We're all working together. That's one of the things we got to be thinking about, working together, shucking corn. Ken and I shucked corn one year or two, and 
had a lot of conversation about the locker room at the Patriots. It was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> The biggest, uh, the biggest thing that we have going this time is the coin quest tickets are going to be on sale all the way up to fortune pays. So yeah, we have October. a longer time to sell lots of yeah. tickets. Yeah. So they're going to be October 2nd at fortune pays? First. October 1st. First. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have another question though. Um, can you... I don't know what the legality is, but can you, would you be able to buy those tickets online if you wanted to, or I don't know. That's something to look into, I guess. I, I don't know. I, I don't think so. Okay. Since we haven't sold the tickets for a couple of years, we're going to have to re-educate a lot of the people on what they're, what they're about, you know, to yeah. be able to sell them. But before, you know, you could just say, these are, you know, duck dashed in. Oh, people yeah, do, yeah. 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 Well, I got one from so and so. Yeah. We're going to put you on a street corner and you're going to explain that to everybody. With a corn board, a cornhole board. I need a coal horn. <laughs> well, we'll get it for you. So we put that duck on the ticket. So you, you can say duck dash. It's still a duck dash ticket. Right? We sold these last year. We actually sold them last year. You got Oregon Ducks on the ticket? Uh, All right. No Oregon <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay, moving along here. <clears throat> Jim, club services. Uh, Doing great. Uh, Seth's not here today, but I think he's going to be taking over the desk that's coming on. But uh, I walked in, and other than the stuff I had in my car, we're all set. So okay. if you need coffee, we'll take care of that. Cool. Yeah, Amelia does a great job of that. Yeah, Thanks for that. Yeah. So when will the Duck Dash tickets be, the Coin Quest tickets be ready? <laughs> I'll probably pick them up today. I oh, cool. Okay. I made it printed out. So. And I think probably then we can give them out next Friday. Wednesday. Yeah, well, we have a booth there Wednesday. Yeah. So we can start selling Wednesday. Okay. Uh, and then I think Angie is going to be in charge of dishing those tickets out. Right. And it, it's very critical that if you get assigned tickets and you sell them, you bring the money back. And then <laughs> very other important thing is if you don't sell the tickets, we got to have those back too. Because if we ever get audited by the gambling commission, we have to show every piece of paper. We so. can help people though. That's okay. Yeah, good. Yeah, people <laughs> in high places. Hopefully they're still there. Hi. Remember, <laughs> the money in the paper bag. <laughs> Under the garbage can in the park. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a lot of volunteers to be picking up garbage in the park. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the treasure hunt. <clears throat> so anyhow, okay, community services, Brian. Um, I sent out uh, the link for the uh, sign-ups for the blood drop. That's August 12th. Mm -hmm. So for us, you'll sign up soon because there's only a limited number of spaces. So if you didn't see that, um, I'll, I'll email it again just to uh, make sure everybody got it. And then next Wednesday, we have the farmer's market. I sent out a sign up for that. Um, I'm sorry, man. They need both shifts. So 2.30 to 5. 2.30 to 5, and then 5 to 7.30. I saw in your email. I guess you can respond by email, or it looks like the link's working now. The link's working now. Okay. Cool. Good. Okay. Okay. Starting Wednesday at the booth, we will start releasing the blood drive appointments to the public, to the community. So if you do want to get your spot reserved early, yeah. And actually, you can donate to Pines if you are a certain blood type. Wow. It's called Power Red. See, and that's how you become the Mud Club double double pint winner. Yeah. Double pint. Yeah. Is that yeah. Jack Daniel? Yeah. Or what is that? <laughs> Free pints and pints too, so you might be able to get away with free. Wow. Can you say that again? You, if you donate what? If, if you have a certain blood type, you can do a Power Red, which is two pints of just your red blood cells. Oh. Yeah. Just your blood type, and you won't. If you don't know your blood type, we will ask for your first donation. What is the blood type that you're looking for? I believe it's it's either O positive or negative, and I think it's A negative and B negative. I could look it up. Mm -hmm. oh. I'll have to tell my wife if this is O. Yes, we look O is O always good. The universal O, o negative o. is very o. rare. Give us all your O. Give your O up. O. Okay. Good. All right, so uh, Jim, anything on foundation? No, uh, we, I think uh, we got everything taken care of yesterday and uh, we're off to the new year, so we had a great year last year. Cool. 
Yeah, it's very exciting. Okay. And then international services, Linda. I don't have anything to report yet. Okay. But we do have a meeting uh, this next Thursday. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Good. Awesome. Okay. I don't think Kyle's here on uh, membership. And then um, Kristen, do you have anything on vocation or youth services, Interact? Um, I kind of thought Gary was going to steal my thunder. Oh, I did. <laughs> he did not. Uh, he learned last year. <laughs> <not learned that. laughs> but Gary came over and he filled in the paperwork and he introduced our presidential citation for Interact. So thank you very much. It was, uh, it was a much easier process. Yeah. Yeah, and then I was embarrassed. And Jim, no, Jim saved the day, actually. Jim yeah. saved the day, by the way. And then we also filed a uh, one for uh, Rochelle and I, and, and uh, with Jim in the background, work on uh, getting it. Uh, Club uh, RI's website has been horrible to work with this past week. It was down, it was down all day Saturday. Our, uh, Wednesday, Wednesday and Thursday, just almost impossible to get in. Wonder why. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Any, anything else? That's, that's okay. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. And then scholarships. Lance isn't here. That's kind of wrapped up, I think. And then Vicki Peters isn't here. Um, one thing I think would be kind of cool is when we're like at the farmers market, and we talked about this a little bit, is have some. We have some signs that have some UR codes that says blood drive or whatever, and you could sign up in different venues that we're doing. So we got to kind of get Vicky geared up on something like that. No one is saying anything. <laughs> and Chris isn't here. Um, and Kendra is not here. <clears throat> so uh, anything on club communications, Gary? Okay. Nope. And then Kyle's not here. Tracy's not here. And then so we have a Sergeant of Arms today. Is uh, James, so we can do that. So we wrap to a 50 50 raffle. I'm going to have you draw the winning ticket every time you read, Bill. I'm going to read the last three numbers of you. Read. One, two, four. Oh, that's me. Oh. <laughs> All right, sir. Pull out the winning yellow duck with the W. Uh, there you go, sir. Thank you very much for participating. Thank you for All right. Let's see. Uh, I think we'll just do half a question. How much time do you need? Let's see. Um, I was given 30 minutes. Okay, then we'll make it quick. So, all right, let's start with happy bucks. Mr. Mayor, are you happy? Ex mayor. Ex mayor. Well, former mayor, he's still dressed in there. John? He's thinking about it. We can't hear you. You're on mute. There we go. There we go. There we go. Five bucks for a summer is finally here. Awesome. Yeah. All right, thank you. Ron, you're at your home, I can see. You're yes, at I am at my uh, main stead here in uh, sunny eastern Washington, but I'm happy. Awesome. Thank you. All right. We'll start with uh, one of our charter members here. Yeah, I'm happy to still be around. And, um, <laughs> I, I didn't know if I was going to have a Fourth of July hot box this year, so I, I'm late doing it. But I am having it, and I would love anybody that wants would like to come. What we do is get together at about four o'clock until about ten, and the, and the um, fireworks are really great in the house. And we have hamburgers and hot dogs and beer and that kind of thing, and if you would come and want to bring your, your favorite dish, that would be great. But we'd love to have you. And so, I don't know. Now I don't know how many people. <laughs> <laughs> the whole town shows up. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a band? All right. Okay. Well, thank you. All right. So that starts at four o'clock. We said on Monday. Yeah. All right. All right. So I maybe I'm a, a win, but I I'm happy because I 
mow the lawn and I did it at about a third as much grass as it did last time. Oh. So finally, the, the lawn stopped growing because everything else has just been growing like crazy. Right. Breaking my back to get everything. Oh. 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 So, say, I did move. Why are you happy now? My wife's gone for about 10 days. <laughs> no, that's a sad dog. That's a sad dog. That's a sad dog. <laughs> I have a happy dollar. Excuse me. I got invited out to the golf course yesterday. Wow. Did you go? I went and I, and cool. I participated for nine holes. Wow. And believe me, after nine holes, <laughs> At uh, 96 years of age, you know, I was really, really happy to have my Tesla take me back. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was a five, Did but the yeah. Tesla drive out to the hole? Yeah. You what was that? Yeah. <laughs> Tesla was on the green. You're not supposed to park on the green. <laughs> was your stroke count for nine holes less than your age? Well, we got, yeah. <laughs> How long have you been a Rotarian? Oh, let's see. I don't know. It seems like forever, but uh, it's probably a hundred and fifty. <laughs> <laughs> he knows Paul does. <laughs> yeah. So 50, well, 50, 56 years. Okay. All right. Perfect. All right. Linda. I am uh, just happy to be back amongst all your friendly people. Excellent. Go ahead. <laughs> Um, I feel like Sunday was such a day. I had a great time roaming around the lake. And then I know the Georgia Club helped sponsor the um, Health and Wellness Festival downtown. There were lots of folks having lots of fun, engaging in lots of different ways. It was really neat. Um, I learned that me and my daughter were double dutching, and the rowing club was there. Um, and then, of course, we had our banquet, which was super fun and engaging. And then, of course, this very sad um, and upsetting news for the um, three children, one that drowned, and the two that are in critical condition. So my heart goes out to all of them. Um, but um, hopefully, we can continue to have a fun and safe time. Thank you. Happy Friday, y'all. All right. Mr. Collins. Apologies, y'all are not able to make the banquet, but a happy dollar because I, did, I missed it because of my niece's wedding. Mm. So <clears throat> that's it. And you're no longer past president. And I'm no longer oh. past president. I'm a past past president. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you going to do for the club? What am I going to do for the club? Continue to be a member. Yes, I got a couple of happy dollars. That was not here for the last couple of weeks. Uh, about three Fridays ago, I was doing National Guard duty. We had to go to the range. I was a little worried because I'm a horrible shot to become an infantry officer. It's <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> you don't do well, but I did well. Good. Yeah, I barely fall. Uh, and then, uh, then the week after that, um, I went to Orlando, Florida, where my my middle child competed in the Special Olympics and got the bronze medal. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Awesome. Yeah. And then, uh, then I spent the, the, the last Friday and the high day just traveling around the state and performing the Pledge of Allegiance to Pastor and all that. And that was kind of fun, you know, I did that. And then uh, I signed up for uh, Aquafesta. I'm really excited because we haven't been together in a yeah, that's cool. for a while. All right. And it was a big fight with my staff because they said you could have it any day. So that's great. Oh, that's nice. that's nice. New stuff. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and then, um, what else? I think, uh, I think that's all I did. All right. I'm starting oh, to see. I get to, oh, wait. I get to speak to a couple of rotaries next week. Oh, cool. Wellington oh, Arnold, by any chance? No. <laughs> I'm starting to see your name on all the applications for LLCs and corporations. That's cool. Obviously, last uh, Sunday was a wonderful uh, uh, annual meeting. It was uh, decorated well beyond what we have done in the past. Rochelle did a heck of a job of 
putting together a Viking theme, uh, and I was honored to be named Rotarian of the Year. So what it means is I get to keep my parking spot that I ignored everybody else who was Rotarian of the Year and still kept it. Now I get it officially. Now there's no guilt. Yeah, no guilt. That's not what happens. Yeah. Yeah. I think the minimum entry is a hundred dollars. <laughs> I'm just happy to be back in Lake Stevens and uh, I met a lot of you before when I've been here and it's just a pleasure to be in this area. My, my family grew up in Hartford, uh, Lake Cassidy, and so I've done a lot of uh, point work around this area. Awesome. That's cool. Yeah, I'm gonna echo Amy. Let's go out there. Crap in the fifth place. We echo Steve. I also signed up to do corn Friday and Saturday. And then Dawn was really happy when I see the stocking shot, the grass, the fertilizer. That's my deposit on my big ground. <laughs> <laughs> no more lawnmower. Not your house house. I found this dollar in downtown Snohomish yesterday wow. while I was walking around. I almost put it back in the economy. <laughs> I'm happy to be here and I'm happy to be on vacation for a month. Oh, cool. Ooh, hanging out with the Pacific Northwest for a whole month and fall free. But we'll see you next week, perhaps. Uh, I'm leaving today, but I'm <laughs> going to work. What are you doing? I live right next door. I live with <laughs> well, um, I'm happy for today's presenter, but uh, she just got back from drum major camp. Oh, yeah, uh, which they haven't been able to hold for a couple years, and um, she was chosen to go to London to direct wow. in the New Year's Day parade. Wow. Cool. So that's cool. pretty exciting. So I'm that's very pretty proud of my little girl. London, Ontario. <laughs> <laughs> so we can probably get a can around again to help pay for it. <laughs> Several times. <laughs> exactly. Uh, great event last uh, Sunday, and uh, we still had a great year. Looking forward to it. Chris is here. See if we can work together. Me too. And, Where is uh, <laughs> my wife's coming over tomorrow, and my mouth is just as bad. Oh, no. <laughs> One more night. I thought I'd do a new and, and uh, the washer seemed to be drier, the hot water takes it all out on the, on the, on the deck, and I mean, it, but it places too. I hope I can get it together. <laughs> You're doing wild card social media. Yeah, wild card. You got something going on tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about it. You're asking us to come over tonight. Yeah, yeah. All right. That's a work party. Yeah. I'll help you. <laughs> so, loving the beautiful weather. Um, the gardens, the veggie gardens starting to grow. There's um, the first crop. Oh, well, that's not the first crop. The first of my things that might be coming through here. There's rhubarb here. Okay, some are all, help yourselves. Okay. And uh, yeah, there was a great party last night. So, so I'm happy uh, to my Canadian heritage. It's Canada Day. So, for that. Also, sad to hear about Carol Hogan. And then uh, Independence Day is Monday. Mr. President. Yes, I'm happy it's Friday and I'm happy we're getting Aquafest going and everybody's jiving and working hard and we're going to have a lot of fun with that. So I'm happy about that. Excellent. All right. <clears throat> Are you introducing our guest? So I think um, Kristen will introduce our guest who went awesome. to Yale. Very exciting. He's from Yale. <laughs> Yale. Yeah. Post if I'm going to get to Yale, but I'm dropping her off, I think. <laughs> I think I need to open up uh, a screen now. It should already be open. Left side, left side. Mm -hmm. Oops. Sorry. Uh, I think I've been doing Google on this one. I should be able to handle this.
Are you on share screen? Like Not yet. I'm just okay. pulling it up first. Yeah. <laughs> That's the differentiate. <laughs> Hold on, I've got the If you saw the Blues Brothers in the 80s, you would. <laughs> Um, I'm honored to present this amazing young woman. I met her um, 16 years ago, 11 months. Yeah, she's almost, she's almost 17 years old. So uh, <laughs> Josie has taken on many different leadership roles in the last couple years. I don't know where she gets her involvement from, but um, I'd like to think that I've had a little bit <laughs> of influence on that. But uh, she is going to be a senior at Lake Stevens High School. She is a drum major, or be our senior drum major. She's on Seiko. Uh, she's been involved with Interact since 19, no, I guess not, 2020. Um, and she was treasurer the year before. Last year, she was a little too busy with all her other things. She runs cross country and track. Um, she works at the Lake Stevens pool, so she is very much a product of Lake Stevens. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce Josefina Jadillo Odegaard, but you can call her Josie. Hi, um, good morning, everybody. <laughs> I am grateful to be here with you guys today. Um, I have a lot a lot to share from my experience in the L. Um, but for starters, um, so this is me. My name is Josie. I use she, they pronouns. I'm an incoming senior in high school, as my mother mentioned. Um, I've been a part of Interact since 2020, and I'm currently 16 years old. I'll be turning 17 next month. <laughs> On the first day, this is a picture of us doing our icebreakers. When we first arrived there, we put our um, our bags and like sleeping bags up on a little porch and we did our icebreakers to get to know one another. There were 26 other um, students that were there. Um, and it was, it was very cool to be able to work with such a big group of just like future Rotarians. It was a lot of fun. Um, but for the first day, we had icebreakers, our speaker, Cassandra Wilson, we did a culture walk, we got into our facilitator groups, and we had dinner. So Cassandra Wilson taught us how to find our worry thoughts, worry thoughts such as worry versus confidence, um, things such as all or nothing, mind reading, and fortune telling. 
Um, it helps us during presentation times where if we feel these really big emotions, we learn how to work with them instead of trying to work against them. So she gave us some tips on things like that. One of her, one of her quotes that I really liked is, um, don't believe everything you think. Our thoughts are not facts, which I thought was a very good quote. And then for our culture walk, that was a very fun activity. So it was, we got to see how we all may be different, but we have a lot of shared experiences in common. So we all got around in a big circle and um, two of our uh, leaders, actually, they uh, asked like, oh, if you identify as woman, as a woman, may you please take two steps into the circle? And they'd ask you the question of, what would you like people to know about people in this group? What's one thing you're tired of hearing as a person in this group? And how is a way we can best support you? And there are a bunch of different um, scenarios and examples that were given. And it was just a very good bonding experience with the people, especially on the first day. It really got us to tear down those walls that we may have had. And we got to really see one another. And then our facilitator groups, we each got a facilitator assigned to us. The way they had that was <laughs> we were given a scrambled name and we had to figure out which facilitator's name that was and whoever else was in our group would also have that same scrambled name. So my facilitator was Austin Taylor. We made our, um, yeah, so not the person with the big fluffy hair, but the one to the left of him, that was my facilitator. Um, he's a very nice guy. He actually is now my mentor. And so that was a really cool experience or just a cool thing to get from that. Um, and so from our facilitator groups, that's where we mainly did things like our activities and where we sat together during meal times and we sat together during different speakers. Um, our group name was the Thrashers. So it was a lot of fun. Um, so day two, we had breakfast and we had speakers, Phoenix and Adam, they are a married couple um, and they taught us how different personalities work together and how it's good to have a bunch of different personalities in a group It makes a well-rounded group all together. So we took a little test, looks like this. And basically you went through each column and on a scale of one to four, four being you really see yourself in that and one being you don't really see yourself in that example at all. Um, and the, once you gather up all the totals, then they put you, yeah, then you became one of these animals. <laughs> so I was a golden retriever, which means that we're very, Easy going, and I know that doesn't seem like golden retrievers because they're very hyper <laughs> and outgoing, but um, they like to work well with other people. And so that was a lot of fun. And then we did Yale Antics, which is like Olympics, but with Yale. Um, my favorite activity was a thing called Hank's Planks. And there were these long wooden boards with ropes attached to it. You had to work with your facilitator group on how to move forward. We had to go to like the end of the field and back, we were racing against another group. It was so much fun. And they throw different like challenges at us. So one of them was like, you can't speak English or you can't say words or you can only communicate in numbers, <laughs> things like that. It was a lot of fun. And then our next speaker was Dr. Bowtie Jenkins. I attended Yale last year, it was online and I got to hear him speak, but it was really, it was such a cool experience to hear him speak this year in person. Um, he had a lot of stuff to tell us such about leadership, how um, to become better presenters in um, just in schools or whenever we're presenting to a group of people. He helped us really get some tips out from that and that was really cool. And then after that, we had lunch which was nice. <laughs> and then Yale Antics again. So we finished up our group activities. And then our speaker, Deb Wiggs, she was actually very insightful. She taught us um, 
she taught us self-leadership. Um, so things like affirmations, motivation, and um, inspiration, which now brings me to our next activity. So you see how we have three pipe cleaners on our, oh, oh this was during our um, um, Phoenix and Adam presentation. Uh, we each got with each of our personality groups. So there are beavers, lions, golden retrievers, and monkeys. <laughs> and we had to make a bridge out of popsicle sticks from four feet across. And so what my group ended up doing is we got a big thing of tape and we taped it to each end of a chair and then we just laid popsicle sticks out on that. <laughs> um, but there are other groups that were trying to create because there was nothing, there was no weight that had to be put on. You just had to make the bridge. There are other groups doing very intricate designs, but we were the first to start and finish. So that was pretty cool. And then these are the kind of personalities, um, just that that's not an otter. That is a beaver. <laughs> we are going to pretend that that is a beaver. But these are some of the things that you might see when it comes to the different personality traits. So you see golden retriever, normally friendly. We ask why questions. We have good people relationships. Um, we focus on the impact of other people. So we see how the things that we do impact those around us. Okay, and this is our pipe cleaner activity. So Deb Wiggs, she had us grab three pipe cleaners, which you guys all have out in front of you. And you're supposed to make um, a representation of your affirmation. So I made a peace sign because I believe that I work well with a bunch of different types of people. And um, I, one of the girls, her name is Mam Preet, she made three hearts and one was love, the other was unity, and the other was respect. And I got the unity one. <laughs> But um, we, you guys are going to have three minutes to make something out of your pipe cleaners that you think represent to you. So we are going to start that timer now. <laughs> And I'm sorry for the people who are online. I, I do not know how to send out virtual um, pipe cleaners. So I'm sorry for that. <laughs> um, but there are some really interesting things that people made. Somebody, actually a kid in my facilitator group, he made his father because he thinks that he sees a lot of himself in his father. And then another girl in a different group, she tried to make her rainbow, which it, it was, it's a very interpretive rainbow. <laughs> but, <laughs> but she said that um, she feels as though she is the bridge that connects people to one another. So I thought that was very cool. So it's really just up to how you see yourself. And it's cool to see how people saw themselves versus what you thought they would put down. There's just a lot of different, lot of different things. Is it the truth? No, of course. The house for sale. Yeah. <laughs> For the soul sign of it. Leaving up commission. And um, each speaker had at least one different activity for us to do. So for Cassandra, it was um, we talked to the neighbor beside us and we talked about um, different worry thoughts that we think when we're up presenting or going um, up to a big group of people to talk um, with. Phoenix and Adam, we did the tape bridge, <laughs> the popsicle bridge. Uh, with Dr. Bokai Jenkins, we, we were with one other partner, 
and we had to think of one word and on the count of three we both say that word and then we had to find something that connected those two words together i think the one that was most difficult was fish and house so we came up with aquarium <laughs> and of course dead wigs we did this and Oh. All right. Um, are there? Is there anyone who would like to volunteer? And, okay. What did you make? Well, I made this. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like a ladder, and I like helping yeah. people get what they want so they can get ahead of life. Very nice. Is there anyone else who'd like to share theirs? Okay. I did a sailboat because that's a great spot to go think when you're all out there all by yourself, <laughs> except for you're bobbing around because a few surfers go by. But uh, Lauren, did you make the Tesla? <laughs> <laughs> I made a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> reminder of how to always think back and realize like it's okay to feel good about yourself like that's a good thing you want to feel positive when it comes to presenting those different objects and then for our last day we had breakfast and then our facilitator presentation so that was actually very cool um, they got to show us what comes after Yale things we can do to help our communities outside of just Yale. So different facilitators talked about different things such as Interact, Rotaract, Rotary. Um, they talked about Ryla and they talked about Youth Exchange. And they each went, they each had about a slide or two to talk about said things. And it was very cool to learn about those stuff. I didn't, I completely forgot that we had um, Youth Exchanges because I thought that completely just went out the door during COVID. But that it was just, oh, they even talked about yes and SASE awards, which is a thing that happens in Canada. Um, so that was that was a cool thing to learn. <laughs> and then our last speaker, Celeste, she was a part about, she helped us um, build a bridge, if that makes sense. Hers is girls. Days for girls. Yeah, days for girls. That's what it is. Um, she was the person who started up Days for Girls. Days for Girls men helps out different areas uh, that don't believe in uh, menstruation. Um, what's the uh, word? Like hygiene. Yeah, menstruation hygiene. So they would go around and give out um, reusable menstrual products to women and girls out there who, for example, one village, whenever there was a woman or person on their menstruation, they would be sent to huts and meant to wait out there until it was over. And there was another group down in 
Africa, I forget where, but um, in order for girls to get menstrual products, uh, there would be some really terrible things done to them in order just to get one. So they went around helping build a bridge between those communities because she she told she taught us how to work with people with differences, not to work against. So which is where our little mind gap paper came from. And it was mainly like, decide your design, survey the other side. You want to take note on how they react and you want to respect their practices and stuff, but you want to also teach them and inform them how there's a better solution to these things. Um, and then we said our goodbyes and then we got to pack up and go. So my key takeaways were how to be a better presenter. I gained the ability to work with diverse groups of uh, people and I learned self-leadership. And yeah, thank you guys. I was, I'm very grateful that I got to be a part of Yale 2022. It was a wonderful experience. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Yale is um, Youth Adventures in Leadership. Yes. And it's for ages? Ages 15 to 17. Yeah, it's very specific. And since we're in Yale 50-50, um, it took groups. Hold on, I think I have set groups here. Sorry. Yeah, it went all the way down to Everett. And then all the way up to Surrey, I believe. It might have been. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> and how many students did you work from the United States? There are four of us. Wow. And two were from Bellingham, one was from Skagit Valley. <clears throat> it, it was very odd being the person who was most south <laughs> yeah. there. But I was dubbed the coolest American. <laughs> so, so, there's that. <laughs> yeah. Are you thinking of uh, participating in Lila? Oh my goodness, yes. So I won't be able to participate this year because I'll be 17, but next year I definitely, that, that would be something I really love to go to. <laughs> That'd be cool. Uh, any other questions? If not, all right, thank you guys so much. <laughs> We got to get more people involved with Rail and Yale, so that's kind of where it happens. So, oh, sorry, it was a completely wireless experience too. They used oh. our phones on the first day. <laughs> awesome! Wow, <laughs> so yeah. that, that, that was probably and, an experience all its own. <laughs> and, and guess who suffered the most? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah. Any, any other questions for today? Okay, meeting adjourned. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. One and only time.
Uh, yes, okay. I forgot. To, I should have mentioned that. Uh, I just you know. I didn't make want to make assumptions, right? Yeah, no, I should oh, have we've mentioned that. Oh, we had changes. Um, oh, wow. 